welcome to Coding Kids. Today we're going to make a dance party animation using Scratch. First, let's look at the different parts. There are three parts to the game. Making the sprites dance, the backdrop, playing the sound. We will build this animation one step at a time. First, let's start with a brand new project by clicking on the Create button on the home page. Every new project starts with the cat sprite as default. A sprite is a character or object that we use in making the computer program. Now, let's get rid of the cat and find a new sprite. Make sure your sprite has multiple costumes. I will select the Cassie sprite, which has four costumes. Costumes are an important aspect of animating sprites. The first step in every project is always the when the green flag clicked block which can be found under the event category. This block will start our code. Now we can start animating our sprite. To change costumes in Scratch, we need the next costume block found under the looks category. This block makes your sprite look like it's dancing. You can make your dance go on forever and ever by adding a forever block, which you can find under the event category. Hover the forever block over the next costume block so that it looks like the forever block is about to eat this block. These blocks should click together. Now the animation is complete. Let's click on the green flag and test the code. It works. Have a look at your sprite. How is the speed of your animation? If your sprite is moving too fast, you can add a weight block found in the control category. By changing the number in the weight block, we can increase and decrease the amount of time between each costume change. For step two, let's paint a new backdrop for our dance party. Click on the miniature paint new backdrop icon on the bottom left of the screen. You can add different circles with various colors as the colorful lights and also put some colorful bricks on the bottom of your backdrop by using the rectangle. As we need to change our backdrop during our dance party, we need more costumes for our backdrop. You can right click on your backdrop and select duplicate to copy your first backdrop as many times as you want. Then go to the second backdrop costume and change the color of each object to different colors to your first backdrop costume. You can use an icon that says fill with color. To animate our backdrop, we need a block that says Next Backdrop under the Looks category and the When Green Flag Clicked block. This will make the lights and dance floor appear to flash different colours. To make our animation repeat forever, we hover a forever loop over the Next Backdrop block. To slow it down, we put a Wait block after Next Backdrop. We can change the speed by changing the number to 0.2. For step three, we want to add sound to our dance party. First, we need to get our event block, when green flag clicked. Next, we want to add a block that says play sound, which can be found under the sound category. To choose the sound that you want, click on the sound header at the top of the screen. Click on the speaker icon and choose a sound you like from the sound library. You may choose to use a different sound to me. Double click on the sound that you have selected or click on the sound, then click the OK button. Now that we have selected our sound, we need to make sure our play sound block is choosing the right sound. Click on the drop down menu on the play sound block and select the sound you have chosen. Now our animation is finished. To test our code, we can click the green flag. Great, 